over two dozen, I think, military cadets who were trained in India have just recently returned uh, to Kabul. Uh, what will their fate be? Will they be allowed to be, join the security forces? How are you looking at that? Uh, I believe the Ministry of Interior had a statement out regarding the uh, trainees that were attending back to Kabul. And there was also a warm welcome. They were received uh, with a warm welcome at Kabul airport. And the Ministry of Interior uh, and Defense have uh, made it known that they will be integrating these cadres back into the uh, ranks of the security forces. Right. On another front, India is known in the last, what, 20 years as being completely uh, focused on aid and development in Afghanistan, $3.1 billion of uh, both aid and uh, development projects were uh, executed by India. What would you like to see India involved in, in Afghanistan and has there been any response from India? Um, uh, we have had many exchanges uh, with India uh, and we are exploring uh, the requests of uh, India resuming uh, and uh, completing some of the projects that are 90% completed or 95% completed as the initial step to uh, the re-engagement of India uh, in terms of you know, development uh, and assistance projects that it has in Afghanistan, because if they are not completed, the money uh, that has been invested uh, for the well-being of the Afghan people will go to waste. So that was uh, one of the uh, first items on the priority list. Uh, and we are, both of us are exploring uh, uh, other aspects where India can invest, is specifically in the basic infrastructure uh, area, uh, such as roads, uh, railroads, and other connectivity projects. Uh, so we are uh, in discussions with India, and uh, we are exchanging lists on where India can uh, help Afghanistan.